I'm Ali, and today I'm going to take you through how to properly do a chaturanga. So before we get started in the right way to do it, let me show you what I see a lot in my classes. So this is what I see when you cue high to low plank chaturanga. Elbows are going out, flopping bellies to the floor, lifting overarching spine, thighs on the earth, and then shoving it back downward facing dog. Very clunky, right? So, let's work with how do we properly set up that chaturanga. Meet me in a high plank position. So this is your foundation. Feet can be hip width distance or to touch. Shift your heels over your toes and then lift your kneecaps to firm your quadriceps. Ensure your hips are in line with your spine and then press the floor away to send the back of your heart high to the sky. With all that strength, you're gonna inhale, shift forward. Take your shoulders over your fingertips like you're peering out over a cliff. Then exhale, low plank. Elbows are right pinned to your rib cage. Shoulders are rolled back. Navel is drawn up and in. Then inhale, upward facing dog. Plant your feet, press into your palms. Send your heart between your hands. Breathe in. Then exhale, downward facing dog. Let's put it all together. So, come to your high plank pose. You're gonna inhale, shift forward. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. See how much smoother that is? That will take your practice to a much safer, more beautiful, more strong space. 